Today, I'm gonna show you how I make one of my favorite cookies, ginger snaps. Now, I tend to make these cookies, especially around fall and winter, when there's that bit of a chill in the air and you really want a little hint of spice to warm you up. But you can make and enjoy these cookies at any time of year. They really are perfect with your favorite tea or coffee beverage. Now, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel if you want to be in the loop for more tasty videos. So, if I can do this, you can do this too. Let's get started. So you're gonna need some butter, flour, white and brown sugar, a little extra white sugar off to the side, some salt, baking soda, nutmeg, cinnamon, freshly grated ginger, molasses, and an egg. So we wanna start off by combining all of our dry ingredients. So, to your flour bowl, you want to add your spices, your baking soda, and your salt. Now, that's just going to make sure that everything's nice and organized so that when we start the baking process, it's going to move along a lot smoother. So, give that a nice whisk to combine and leave that off to the side. So, now we want to cream our butter and our sugar. Now, it's important to start off with room temperature butter. That's just going to make sure everything gets uh, moving along a lot faster. So when your butter and sugar gets nice and light and creamy and fluffy, it's time to add our wet ingredients. So in the bowl goes the molasses, the ginger and the egg. So it's important to combine this well. So you're going to start off and your dough is going to look a little bit runny and wet, but keep going at it and essentially everything's going to tighten up and you know, it's going to be ready to add that flour. So I like to add my flour in two batches. Now firstly, because if you add everything all at once, you're going to have flour everywhere. It's going to be on the kitchen counter. It's going to be all over you. You're going to look like a ghost and you're going to scare people. Nobody likes that. Second, it's a lot easier to mix when you add it in two batches and it gets combined a lot better that way. So when you add everything in and you mix everything together, your dough is going to be nice and thick. You want to scrape down your sides, make sure you don't have any floury bits anywhere. And it's time to cover it up with some cling film and pop it into the refrigerator to do its thing. So you want to leave the cookie batter in the fridge to chill for about an hour. You know, let it relax. Give it some time, let it chill out, because we're gonna practically be baking them and eating them in no time flat. So ginger snaps, as the name suggests, means that it's a cookie that you can practically snap in half. And that's because it has a very crispy or crunchy texture, which is fantastic for dunking into hot drinks. And uh, it's also very versatile because you can use these cookies in other recipes because of that hard texture. Now I have got a pumpkin pie recipe that uses these ginger snap cookies. So don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you wanna be updated uh, on recipes like these when they come out, or you can just look around my channel and find the recipe, it's gonna be there. So I think an hour has passed and it's time to take the batter out of the fridge and time to get rolling in some sugar. So remove that cling film and it's time to start rolling our balls. So using a spoon, we're gonna portion out some cookie dough batter pieces and we're gonna roll it into balls. Now, your balls don't have to be perfectly round, but they do have to be sugar coated. Now, I didn't know how else to say that, but anyways, moving on. So you're gonna keep going at it until you know, you have all those balls coated in sugar and then you're going to place them on a parchment lined baking tray. Now you want to leave some space in between uh, each dough ball because when they bake, they're going to flatten in the oven. So you want to give it space to do its thing. So you're going to pop that into a preheated oven, bake for about 12 to 15 minutes. And then there you have it. You just baked up a batch of beautiful, crispy, crunchy, spicy ginger snap cookies. And now all you have to do is enjoy.